from insider.com. Two New Jersey cops admitted they dressed in disguises and vandalized the cars of a man who filed complaints against them. Whoa. How do you get caught doing something like this when you're the police? This is the kind of thing that they're supposed to be able to get away with all the time and nobody hears anything about it. Well, how do they get caught in this situation? But the fact that it has happened this way, I think creates a very teachable moment. Two New Jersey cops admitted Tuesday that they smashed up two cars owned by a man who had complained about them, the Monmouth County prosecutor said. Asbury Park Police Officer Stephen Martinson, 31, and former Officer Thomas Dowling, 27, pleaded guilty to fourth-degree criminal mischief in Monmouth County Superior Court, according to a statement from the county prosecutor. The charges stem from an incident September 3, 2019, when the men vandalized two cars, one in Asbury Park and another in Ocean Grove, that belonged to someone who had filed an internal affairs complaint against them. The men smashed windows and slashed the tires, causing $500 in damage. Wow, this is according to prosecutors. As uh, the prosecutor, Chris Gramaccioni, said in a statement, spiteful retaliation from law enforcement officers toward a citizen for any reason is an unacceptable option. This is in no way condoned at any level for any reason. All members of the law enforcement community must maintain the public's trust by conducting themselves at the highest level of integrity and decency. You know, just I, I have to translate this from status language from government propaganda to normal talk is, oh, yeah, uh, we got caught doing something that we pretend we never do. So we're going to say we're totally against it. Uh, so please believe us when we say that this is the only time that this has ever happened and we have gone after the people responsible and, and we are holding them accountable. The two vehicles belong to Ernest. Gene Magnoli, an Asbury Park resident who had criticized the police department, New Jersey Advanced Media reported the officers were dressed in disguises at the time, authorities said at the time. When Magnoli, 70, learned that the officers were responsible for the damage to the cars, his jaw dropped. As part of the plea agreement, neither men will, neither man, I suppose, will be able to work public service in the state, the prosecutor's office said. The sentencing, their sentencing is scheduled for October 16th. Now, why is this an important story? Not just like, hey guys, you live in America, this happens. And you got to be really careful about this. Like, you got to know, like, do you complain about the police? Do you really want, is it worth it? Are you safe? Like, I'd like to think where I live, I'm, you know, I'm relatively safe because, you know, I live down three miles of private dirt road. Police don't come out here very often. Uh, so, like, if someone if someone were to come out here, it would be, you know, it, it would be really strange. It'd be, it, would, it would take an extra effort. But, you know, there was the theory that George Floyd's killer, Chauvin, had a person like knew him. And it, it, there was actually a personal vendetta there that. Uh, because they had worked together at some club where um, Chauvin was you know, private police security and um, George Floyd had been a bouncer outside, something like that, or security inside. <clears throat> they had some prior personality conflict. The thing is, you don't need a story like this. You don't need the example like this to understand that we live in a fucked up police state where there are two things that lead us to really have to submit to the cops. One is the criminalization of so much normal behavior, right? So much normal activity that I was criminalized that you know, the average American commits three felonies a day. They can go after you for anything at any time and have probable cause to say, well, you broke a law that you've never heard of. and doesn't matter that you don't have a victim. We're making you the victim now. Screw you. 
And the other one is the immunity, qualified immunity. They can go after you, cause damages for a victimless crime. Uh, basically, if you're a cop, what does that mean? It means you have the right, the right, the, the, the legal right, not the lawful right, but you are allowed to, in today's society, to basically go beat up anyone you want. Now, not anyone, right? Not people who can afford lawyers. Not politicians or government, other government officials. No, 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 no. But poor people, minorities, just riffraff you don't like. You could even go vandalize vehicles. And it makes me wonder how much crime that's being reported. Now think about this. We are we are led to think that we need to turn to the police to protect us from thieves and vandals. Well, maybe the police are responsible for that too. The victim here called the police and reported that his vehicles had been vandalized. And in this rare case, we found out, hey, it was the cops who were behind it. And whether you have data on any other particular cases, you know that when it comes to the actual crimes being committed in America today, like arresting people for victimless crimes, it's the police behind a lot of it.